on guys it's your boy the g flash and welcome back for some more fake content and i'm joined by my two get gdk and ken dog yeah, hello. hello okay so finally Hi. the end of the month is approaching and we're about to get our emblem hero <laughs> i am not looking at that title because i want to see who this emblem hero is and wh whichever mythic or whatever is in here well, I can say one thing. I'm looking forward to seeing who our next emblem character is going to be. I'm oh, hoping yeah. that whoever it is, that we will not get uh, ridiculed on Twitter for it. But in other cases, I hope you guys enjoy it. Yep. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Emblem, engage. Yay. Wait, that's... Hold on, that music. Oh, 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 it's Ike. Yeah, I can't float So what? Oh, let's go. Am I up? Hey, Tati. Huh. Oh, he's got great aether. Yup. Love Goose Friend. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm kind of a little surprised that uh, that Ike is our next one. I would have mm -hmm. figured that they would have gone by uh, by way of uh, how we collected them. Yeah. Hmm. I guess they didn't want to bring out the extra effect of uh, an extra movement uh, too early into the game. Yeah. Whoa! Zero damage. This one's mine. Oh, it's like a... Whoa! <laughs> oh, nice damage. Uh oh, Reinhardt's yeah. about to nuke you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, normally in this case, uh, considering the fact that they're showing off the new hero, they usually oh wow, take, that's uh, a big with all I have. What? The, yeah, they usually what take. <laughs> what, what is going um, on? Oh, it's like Irving. Great eater. Yep. Oh wow, he says the line from Smash. <laughs> Of course, oh, they were pairing them up with Sora. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Brave Sora, nonetheless. Wow. Yep. Settle this. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like his, uh, this emblem effect works with, like, range units. Well, that's threat. Hmm. Oh, just a bit. I had to take a wild theory guess. I would say that it's uh, due to its effect with the uh, with this special in engage. Yeah. Oh, oh so we don't have a, a mythic this time, right? It's just an emblem hero. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> they well, really bring out so every... funny, I'll say that. Ooh. Ooh, they're bringing out the big guns. Oh yeah, they're bringing out all the big guns. God, my, oh, oh God, oh, my cute. wallet. Oh, my wallet. Oh, it's gonna okay. hurt. Oh God. Uh, okay, so can I just say how Alicia and I go in the same color? That's really cute. That's really yeah, cute. Well, I, well, honestly, I don't care for Alicia right now. I'm more <laughs> focused on the fact that, uh, I'm more focused on the other colors because they're in the fact that we've got Two of the best staff healers in the game right now, along with uh, bringing back Myson and a and a two Nino in the green batch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway, let's go over. So let's weapon. talk about Ike. So this first of all, we know his stats, and this time he's a tanky boy. So 41 HP, 63 attack, 18 speed, 45 defense, and 42 rest. So this time, the Ike is a mixed bulk tank. So that's actually pretty good. All right. So this is his kit. He's got Emblem Ragnall. It's got a minus one spectral cooldown and then distant counter. I mean, just like any other Ragnall, they always distant counter. Um, yeah. So then, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants attack plus X to unit and inflicts attack minus X on the foe. X equals 25% of foe's attack at the start of combat, minus 2, maximum 16, minimum 6. Okay. 
And then neutralizes penalties on you. Okay, so that's really good. Then neutralizes effect that prevent units counterattack. Wow, he's got no counter disrupt as well. Okay. And then uh, no guard. Holy smokes. Okay, so this Ragnal is absolutely a lot better than like the base ice Ragnal, which is not saying much though. Well, actually, yes, because the base Ragnal on the base Ike it's just off plus four all stats and minus one special cooldown. This time, it's got minus one special cooldown and attack up and attack debuffing on the foe. So that's actually pretty cool. And it does a attack check, basically. But on top of that, he's got penalty neutralization, uh, no counter disrupt, and no guard. So he's not going to be slowed down by the guard effects, which is good. Okay, so tell me this, IS, uh, depending if you watch the other Faytubers and this one, why in the world are you doing this for, for the Emblem Ike, but you couldn't do something like this for the regular Ikes? I mean, seriously? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, I mean, it's just, I mean, I get the fact that Ike is a popular character and stuff, but something like this would have been good on the normal Ikes along with the Black Knight as well. Yeah. So. Maybe because he's know, an Emerald, so I guess he's supposed to be powerful, I'm guessing. Uh, apparently. Apparently yeah. it's uh, kind of it's kind of a little uh, strange, but also kind of uh, <laughs> kind of goes to show you how much they care for their uh, care for their Gen One units. Mm -hmm. All right, now so. let's take a look at Ike's uh, Smash Bros attack uh, or his Smash Bros special uh, special Smash Ball uh, special hit, Gray Aether. When special triggers, boost damage by percentage of units attack equal number of times foe has attacked during this combat times 10 plus 40. Oh boy, so basically, the more that the foe attacks him, the more damage he's gonna do, huh? Okay, that's the first part. The second part is if unit initiates combat, a foe can counter attack before unit's first attack. Okay, so is the Arvon effect. And then if the foe can perform a follow-up attack, foe can make a follow-up before unit's next attack during combat. Okay, so same just like Orvon, basically. And then yep. reduce damage from attacks by percentage equal 40, minus current special cooldown count value times 10 during combat. But if unit receives consecutive attack, reduce damage from foe's second attack onward, by percentage equals 70 minus current special cooldown count value times 10. Okay, so basically he's got damage reduction, but basically it's just taking the, I guess the Great Aether's like special cooldown count into consideration. So I guess if it's like, if his cooldown goes lower, then I guess he gets more damage reduction or I don't know if this song like reading it but i know the second part is the second the second uh, attack uh um the second attack has, i think reduces the mo so it's kind of like the deflect melee or deflect range sacred seals you know like the second attack deals more like has more damage reduction so i'm guessing like this is what it means but but it's like taking it to consideration of the special cooldown count basically <laughs> Well, it's kind of mm -hmm. like, I guess it's uh, kind of the same as Gambit a little bit, except with a little bit of a twist on it. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's the, so it's, a, it's like the Gambit effect. Just a little bit, but it's just, uh, I think it's uh, doing the complete opposite, except it's like still doing the same thing, but just differently for the, uh, for the Great Aether. Oh, uh, okay. All right, that makes a yeah. little bit more sense. And then finally, yeah. the fourth effect is... If this special is triggered during combat, deals five damage to foes within three rows or three columns center on unit, inflicts a uh, pulse smoke, um, cannot exceed the foes maximum special cooldown, and restores X HP to unit after combat, X equal number of foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit times five plus 10, maximum 50% of units HP. Oh, okay, so basically, he deals splash damage to 
Uh, once he triggers Great Aether, he deals splash damage to foes within three rows and three columns, and then inflicts mm -hmm. pulse smoke on them also. And then also, like, I, I think after, um, he, like, after combat, he heals, like, HP to himself after, like, the enemies on the three rows or three columns gets hit, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Ah, okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, uh, uh, Great Aether is a really powerful special. That's a uh, perfect for Ike, basically. All right, yep. then he's got defense versus finish for because of course he does. He's a tank. And then we got a new beast law skill, Lagoose Friend Four. Well, first of all, I get that's a really clever name because you know Ike is a Bay Orc <laughs> and he wants to unite the Lagoose with the Bay Orcs. <laughs> okay, so. What does this do? Inflicts attack minus five on the foe during combat. If unit's max special cooldown count value is greater than or equal to three and unit's attack can trigger unit special or if foe's attack can trigger unit's uh, special, reduce the percentage of unit's non-special reduce damage by, oh, okay. So basically if his special cooldown count is greater than three, then he basically do a demon effect by instead of the well yeah you do the demon effect whereas he can cut the damage reduction skills by 50 percent so that automatically there is really good um, and which demon are you referring to demon I, the the unit okay. No, I'm talking about which Diamond in particular, because I mean we got different variants of him uh, in the game. Uh, there's, only, there's only one. No, we we only have one Diamond. We only have one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay so anyway, <laughs> uh, this excludes AOE specials, then reduces damage from foes attacks by twenty percent of the greater of units defense or res excluding aoe oh okay so he deals um flat damage reduction by checking either his defense or resistance i think and then mm. grants special clown cow minus two to unit before foe's uh first attack okay yeah so this first part is in fact the Oh no, this is actually the second part, because the first part is the inflicting attack minus five. Okay, so basically what this is, is it is the um the scowl skill effect, or if you want to look a better description, it's basically the scowl effect. But instead of checking for a like a specific stat, it checks for the special <laughs> cool the, the specials of special cooldown count. If it's higher than three, then it can duel basically the scowl effect. But it's the scowl effect this time around it applies to yourself. So your special cooldown count goes down by two, and then you cut damage reduction skills by half, and then deal flat damage reduction uh, to yourself uh, by the like 20% of either your defense or resistance stats, basically. Can everyone just stop stealing Tiki Stang? This is getting ridiculous now. This yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a really I good effect right there. Uh, oh, and I guarantee you, uh, this skill is only gonna be uh, applicable on infantry units, I think. None of the beast units can get it because this is Lagu's friend, because it's about Bay Orcs, you know? I mean, you also have to take into account for the flyers and the armors, so. They'll see Maybe what they the make restriction it. to this is, though. All right. Yeah, so we will the be seeing that tomorrow. Yeah. All right, the third effect. During combat, if unit's max special cooldown count value is greater than or equal to three and unit's attack and trigger unit special, when special triggers, deals damage equal to 20% of the greater of unit's defense or rest. Oh, wow, you do a uh, true damage based on 20% of <laughs> your uh, defense or rest stat. Wow. Excluding AOE and... uh. 
Oh my god, what is this? Next, then you absolutely neutralizes the damage reduction skill. So, uh, the, so the first part, the second part, when you uh, haven't triggered your special yet, you just cut DR by half. But once you trigger your special, you completely like pierces through damage reduction. Wow, that is nuts. Okay. All right, and uh. And this also excludes AoE specials. And then during combat, okay, this is the fourth part. If foe's attack can trigger unit special, unit's next attack deals damage equals 20% of the greater of unit's defense or res and neutralizes reduced damage by expert from foe's not special. What? What is this? So, I, as if the first three parts wasn't bonkers, well, the first, well, the second and third effect wasn't bonkers enough. Now, you add on to the armor beacon and armored skills. So, after you trigger your special, then you're dealing true damage based on your next damage based on 20% true damage of your defense array, and you get unpierceable damage reduction as well. Oh my I gosh! Don't... This is, oh boy, this is all the bonkers effect all rolling to one. This is not okay. The skill's not okay. Holy crap! Hey. I mean, what do you? I mean, what do you expect? I mean, we're basically in a meta meta error here of phase. So, just Wait, imagine it's gonna be one of those things. Just imagine if this skill comes in the Hall of Forms and you slap it's it gonna, on somebody. You know it's gonna come to Hall of Forms at some point, right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely. True. If I recall correctly, uh, it usually takes about um, two, two months before it gets in. Yes, I think so. So, wow. so we only have a little bit of time to tell, boys. Yeah. Oh, that means the engagement is still get. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, and then finally, he's got cancel control three because oh, why not, right? You want I to stop your cavaliers, of course. Okay, and then his emblem effect is enhanced engage special. If foe's range equals to two and units or foe specials ready or triggered before or during this combat, reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. Okay, so okay. basically, um, this only works on the range units. So uh, once club. you trigger your, once the range unit triggers their special, then uh the the foe's next attack gets reduced by 40 percent so that at least helped the the glass cannons or something like that or the range units to be a little bit more bulky i will say isn't this more supposed to be on uh, par with the uh with the armored uh, special skills i think a little bit yeah that's what i yeah. figured so, yeah, that's uh, Emblem Ike for you. Uh, he's really bizarre as a, as a unit, and he brings a really busted B-slot skill that I can't wait to see get slapped on who. Now, I will have to uh, uh, say this. This B-slot skill only works best on units with mixed bulk. Like, do not slap this on, like, fast units. Uh, but, I mean, you can also slap it on people that you know, has either high defense or high resistance because it's going to check for e either one of those stats, which, whichever one's higher, I guess. Or I don't know if it, like, combines and, like, both of the stats into one, or I don't know if it just checks one or the other. Uh, but, yeah, do take into consideration of who are you going to slap this on, like, beforehand. Okay, and then his uh, little description is endorse initial strike before releasing Great Aether, and then Laura's range damage dealt with his engaged partner as well. Okay, yep. All right, and then we all saw all that, um, and then we know everything like that. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly run down the everybody else on this banner. So red is Ike, Embla, Alencia. Uh, this is a strong. A color, Ike is good, Alencia is great, and the emblem is emblem's emblem. Shuts down feud effect. Blue is Mycin, Byleth, and uh, Isadora. I mean, Isadora and Mycin are great support units. I mean, as long as well as people and Byleth. And Byleth is just Ma. She's yeah. done. 
And then uh, green, you got Camilla, Nino, and Sather. Uh, Sather is showing her age a little bit, but I think she's still decent. Nino is really powerful as a fodder and as a dagger unit. Camilla, I don't need to say it. She's just bananas. Camilla is my, my, just my sleeping nightmare. Yep. When I go to bed, I, I uh -huh. see her like, like, god damn it. Yeah. And then, colorless, you got Arvel, Tina, and Safi. I mean, Tina and Safi, they're, they're bananas as healers, especially when they're firing what they do. Arvel is still pretty good, too. So yeah, this yeah. Uh, this ba this banner is absolutely crazy with some really powerful units. So if you're a big Ike fan, like I am, or we like Ike, summon on this banner. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's basically, that's it. That's basically impression of the Emblem Ike banner. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of Emblem Ike? How bonkers he is? Are you happy that he kind of got a redemption with his Emblem variant? And if, uh, and, and then if you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe, you want to see me do more videos. And well, that's it. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. It's your boy, the G Flash, signing out. Bye. Bye. Bye.